Hello sports fans, this is Steven here for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special NFL breakdown of the Indomitian Sioux contract negotiation situation. Um, since Indomitian Sioux was drafted to the Detroit Lions, we've seen a lot of good things out of him. You know that Jim Schwartz took him at basically a time where the Detroit Lions were not really at a good place defensively. Since then, he's become a cornerstone of the Detroit Lions. Not only that, but the best defensive tackle in the NFL. Looking at what he brings to the table for the Lions, the attitude, the swagger, the fear that he puts in offensive players. You're looking at some of the plays that people call dirty as far as what he's done. You have to look at the grand scheme of things of what he brings. He brings a new attitude. He brings the nonstop motor that you're looking for in a defensive lineman. Not only what you need to build a team around defense, but the attitude you want. The Detroit Lions would be stupid to let him walk away, let alone try to trade him. Because he does have a high salary cap number, it will be hard to get that down as far as restructuring a contract. Also, we've seen the Detroit Lions part wave with several good players that they needed potentially to go on and make a Super Bowl run when they don't have the money to do that. But the good thing about it, the NFL draft is coming up. They do have a pick where they can use offense and they can use some of that money to restructure and Dominic and Sue or re-sign him to a longer term deal. Sue has to take a hometown discount. Because he makes so much and he's getting paid on the old rookie scale where rookies can make whatever they wanted to, it's going to be hard to bring that number down into his next contract. Yes, he's worth at least 10 to $12 million a year, but the Detroit Lions do not have that good of a team. Will you be able to, to pay Matthew Stafford, Calvin Johnson, Reggie Bush, and Dominican Sue? All these players at one time, the answer is no. The Detroit Lions do not make that kind of money. They have not even been making the playoffs like that for them to justify paying Sue that kind of money. But um, if the Detroit Lions let him walk, this will be a setback not only for the city, but for that franchise. When you look at all the things that they have to lean on, and Dominican Sue is one of them, Calvin Johnson is the other, Matthew Stafford is the other, and they don't have pretty much anything after that. So the key to building a Super Bowl champion is through your defense. You have to have that big... Uh, defensive tackle, nose tackle, if you will, to run a 3-4, to run a 4-3. That's going to be disruptive. That's going to penetrate through the offensive line to get things done when you need it done. To get pass rush each and every play. The guy plays with reckless abandonment, and he leaves it all on the field. A lot of people say that he's dirty, but at the end of the day, would you want Sue on your team or against your team? I want to know what you guys feel. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you feel like the Lions should try to re-sign Sue, trade him, or just let him walk for nothing? Give me your reasons in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button in the corner. Subscribe. YouTube backslash Just My Picks TV. Also, follow me on Twitter at Just My Picks TV. Also, check me out on YouTube. YouTube backslash Just My Picks TV. And always remember, share our videos in your sports group. And never forget, no need to debate. This isn't first take. You can reason with Steven. Thank you very much. Check us out.